Hello, 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 and welcome to today's stream. I'm Professor Bodhi, aka Mr. Bonnie John. Thank you for joining me on today's live stream. We are designing a new Potempo for my Monster Tamer collectible kind of game. See uh, this screen just to start. Um, now that I've got a formal intro out of the way, I'm going to pretend like we didn't just crash for whatever reason. Hello, Alex and Draco and everyone else that will be joining today. Um, I've got to figure out why that's been happening. I don't know what is going on. Seconds greetings, seasons greetings to you, Rec. Um, again, we're just going to try it again and we'll just kind of pretend like that other thing didn't happen. Um, because that's a little annoying. Why does that keep happening? I might have to swap from Streamlabs to maybe anything else because it's not a good look. It is not a good look. Well, anyway, gang, thank you for joining me today. As I was saying before, I got um, sent to the Shadow Realm, it felt like. Um, hello, Dr. Crowbar. Welcome in, welcome in. Um, hello, Hikari. What's going on? Finally made it to one of these early. Nice, nice. Good to get to see you. Hello, Dingus. Welcome back. Um, as I was saying before, I got rudely canceled by um, the Streamlabs desktop. It sent me to the Shadow Realm. Um, gang, the Chimera is a perfect potempo for me to design on screen. I was saying earlier, I want to kind of get like these heavy hitter kind of designs off the bat just to kind of like figure out the look feel of the creatures. Um, I also really, really badly want to have a second pass at the God of Potempo, whatever they may be called. Um, to me, it is a very exciting challenge because you know, to me, designing a lot of things... Uh, hello, kid. Welcome in, welcome in. Um, I would say that when it comes to um, stream, um, stream designs, I have to teach you guys as um, I'm building this world myself, right? I'm teaching a lot of it myself, right? Changing things from types to um domains and you know uh figuring out the look feel of creatures uh yeah i love that meme um ultimately the chimera is the perfect potempo that represents like the, the totem pole kind of approach that i'm doing i think another way to think about it is um with most designs the idea is landing the through line right so this word right here hello no monkey business welcome in the through line is something that needs to live across a Pokemon line, right? It might be color, it might be the type of animal or animals in certain cases. Um, it might be a like the subtext of the design. Will Chimera be multi? Yes, yes, and I'll quickly go over some stuff um, I've been thinking about. And it's that I wanna have potentially, um, again, and I don't want to go too much into it. I talked about it today on my Potempo channel or section. Um, and um, there's been some cases for uh, a domain called Caustic or Toxic. The one I'm really leaning towards is like Mosaic. I think it's a kind of, kind of a beautiful world word. But I realize I don't think I'm going to do IC because the two things that I'm going to be potentially pushing is... These will be the only domains. And I really like this direction because the simpler the better is my main goal. And so instead of calling, originally I think I was gonna call these exotics, I think I'm gonna go with something like Fable, right? Like they're like legends of Fable, right? These are your pseudo legendaries of the world. I realized there shouldn't be a domain just for pseudo legendaries. That's dumb because you only get one pseudo legendary maybe to a generation and then i know people would be like well bon is chimera uh, exotic or a dragon would have to be so would potentially say an aklut or you know any of these cool mythological creatures a lot of which that i am going to be you know putting in my game um and so for me i think something like fable 
like in, instead of saying like before it would have been like the exotic potempo kyogre right now in reality it should be the mythic right because it's like a god level kind of create creative entity or creature not creative um but i was thinking it would be like these secondary not typings but like classifications uh what's up jc hello hello and hello arthur um so fable and potentially the other side um like a manipulated the word i really love is wilted that's the one that i really like um and so fable so i could be like the fabled typic potempo that reads a lot better than the exotic typic um of which then if a lot of creatures have exotic um then yeah like it might like diminish the brand a little bit but then it's kind of like gen one where there was a dragon type but there was only three pokemon that were dragon type right where it was too little um but basically um i like wilted and fable or whatever words i get that fit thematically um because the issue with caustic that a lot of people i don't know, I don't know if there's a lot of people or not but like it was like oh okay it's it could still represent like a poison kind of type um and i think it's more like to me like a status condition right like or or maybe status period right to be a fabled mon whether you were man-made or by the gods um if you're fabled you have a little more storied development like you'd be more of an interesting important character in the world same with the wilted side um and that could potentially lean into um order and chaos and that to me is really cool um because uh i started building out as well you can see this in my potempo channel um the hierarchy i'm planning on having it be the god potempo at the top and then it splits into an order god and a chaos god and then all the creatures beneath these two come from are, are the rest of the potempo right so what ends up happening is um um potempo i'm still trying to figure out if i want humans to have been born of potempo we'll see um but you might be wondering bond where's the fair deity there wouldn't really be one in my opinion at the top i like the duality element of order and chaos being first created and that may be and i won't go too much into it but maybe a, a human took it upon themselves to make a fair deity to bridge the gap thinking they would do good but it, it was going still against a grand order of the world right um i'll figure it out but cat dog cat dog is an amazing uh chimera i was literally talking with a friend just last week about the theme song uh dragon dog my chimera god of war i've been inspired watching these to work on my own good 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 all i'm really trying to do is inspire you guys um hello jazz wolf welcome in i see you're taking away pseudo legendaries and corrupted from one domain and making them it's it's not a category i'd say dingus i would probably say that again it's more like a status and i don't know if it's going to keep but remember mythic will all be summonable so they i love that in my world say if i introduced a groudon kyogre or rayquaza it's not like there would be a gothic mythic a runic mythic or a typic mythic it's going to be everyone who is legendary is mythic their abilities are so far beyond of what normal potempo could do it just to me really stamps and hammers in that mythic are this untouchable class hence why they live in their own tier i'd like an element that maybe so again originally remember my exotic class was supposed to be kind of like a class for dragons and fairies right dragon got to be its own typing however as i've said surmised this before i think dragon as a typing it's i could equate something else to it right like a draconic energy maybe it'd be cosmic or like maybe primordial energy but i don't think i need a typing like that like 
Tippett could fit in that realm. So could Runic. So, like, I can make cases. This is my world. I realize it'd be dumb to give a typing that was, again, pseudo legendary as a domain. Legendary in itself, mythical, pseudo legendary, those are classifications that we give to Pokemon. So, to me, Fable and Wilted would be an adjective that describes furthermore the creature at hand like a fabled gothic pokemon a fabled runic a wilted cryptic i really like that as a descriptor versus a domain wilted or caustic wouldn't be a domain neither would exotic hence why my current direction of fable and wilted doesn't follow the ic elements if i did do that that'd be confusing because those are not domains right those are descriptors uh, I really like this type, so it's really unique. Makes me feel like I wish I came up with it or something creative instead of elemental system. I mean, look, I'm not... Do whatever you guys, your heart wants. I'm doing what my heart wants, which is to streamline, make something fresh and unique, but built off of stuff that I know. If what you love is Pokemon, you want to do an elemental system, that's fine and almost encouraged because people know that kind of stuff that's why to me i don't want to inundate a lot of new people with a lot of crazy shenanigans gothic mythic runic typic liptic dictic cryptic da -da 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 -da, and all these kind of things and they've got to learn something new and we're still so early so it's a lot to figure out still but i appreciate that it's really nice one of my favorites is magmatron's magmasaur magmatron i just learned about magmatron now i'm trying to figure out whether i have a flying air in towards no but i'm not sure hello hey gabby thank you thank you for coming in leave a line yes thank you guys let's keep a hand check ready we're officially at 724 and we haven't done shit yet so i'm gonna get started hello justin i have not um okay so Today, as I've said before, um, I'm working on the Chimera. Uh, this is an entity, and I'm going to quickly give you kind of like the um, wiki, like kind of description. I was going to say instruction. But uh, Chimeras, there's also apparently a fish uh, based on the Chimera. We're looking at the mythological exactly too many domains would make things hectic which was another word i was kind of looking up uh descriptors domain sound so cool that inspired me to expand my vocabulary there you go little by little i can inspire a lot of people i hope this game um inspires a lot of people one way or another moreover inspires them to learn about it um inspires them to share these videos so i can make it a real thing if i can pitch it one day but according to greek mythology the chimera uh literally translated it means she goat was a monstrous fire breathing hybrid creature from lycia or lycia or lycia uh asia minor composed of different animal parts it is usually depicted as a lion with the head of a goat protruding from its back occasionally depicted with dragon wings and a tail that might end with a snake's head it was an offspring of typhon and echidna and a sibling of monsters like cerberus and the lernian hydra term chimeras come to describe any mythical or fictional creature with parts taken from various animals right so what's really cool about uh, a design like this is again i personally see this as the almost like the um what's the word like not a flagship but like a very symbolic pokemon or creature um i'm calling a real world creature a pokemon how am i going to call my own things for tempo um so it might be something like uh fable and wilted sounds awesome thank you thank you it's not the set words yet i'm still trying to figure that out um and whether or not they will stay you know it might be just simpler to call my creatures legendary and just stick with the pokemon kind of direction but if i can again find areas to like make things unique i'll do it but i don't want to do it just to be different right um i think mid elements need some extra theming to make them feel more concrete i agree wilted sounds really cool though i wonder if that implies flora uh it's more so the i would say the energy like my my spirit has been wilted you know or transformed um but it is certainly something to look into for sure um i really love mosaic i pitched that in the thing um in my potempo channel if you guys want to ever check that out i'm just kind of um 
screaming into the chaos in there so um although our discord's a little dead these days but that's okay i'm trying to bring it back with art stuff skarmory is done my baby skarmory so if i can maybe do monthly challenges we can bring it back a little bit but it's okay um chimera can also refer to dreams and chimera is also a type of fish exactly so to me this is a great potempo concept to teach why um because it is very much in line with if anything chimera could have been a base word i could have used to describe a lot of potempo because when potempos go through their blitz form or their burst form or their tempo shift and whatever i end up calling it um one actual word i might call it is finale finale form because the finale is the ramp up right past the climax and ending the line so finale fits with tempo as well and music kind of as a, as a theme so i'm gonna maybe try using finale instead of boost form we'll, we'll see if it works or not so all of my potempos that have a finale form um the idea is that the finale form is a sum of all of its parts ramped up all the way right um you can kind of see this in my um and i also want to show you guys this before we get drawing i know i know i'm always prefacing a lot of stuff um but it's all for for worth i promise um i have saved a lot of pokemon from dex neo now obviously when you see my dex neo selections i'm not bringing them one to one i'm kind of picking apart and seeing where i can alter them to fit my world so maybe not all of these will be fully translatable uh mosaic is awesome but what is it referring to it would also be a potential it wouldn't work anymore mosaic was fitting while i was still thinking ick for the caustic thing um and so mosaic is like looks broken but it's still beautiful and colorful uh has light shining through but it's fragmented and that to me was like a beautiful way to say something was broken yet whole it didn't define quite define decay or sadness or anger or rage or fear or any of those words we were talking about um but i like the idea of something rebuilt again be it by nature or by humans um that didn't necessarily feel evil wilted doesn't feel evil it just feels like i have flowers that i was gifted for my birthday they're, they will wift, but wift. They will wilt, but that's a natural part of nature. So that's a kind of a more beautiful way to say decay. Um, so that's where mosaic kind of came from. Another closest term design for chimeras is one from Dragon Sagma. You haven't seen my finale form to sign. They're chimeric. Hello, peeps. Hello, KK. Um, mosaic is abstract. Um, but anyway, I don't really want to talk about that kind of stuff. I want to get back into the designs. Um, another thing I mentioned in the Discord section was I don't even know which of these types will stay. If all of them, if I add more, I realize more than anything, it's silly. I'm not silly, but like it's fun and goofy and dumb to like care too much. And this is the Bonnie way to care too much about anything. Uh, but like when I look at worrying or trying to figure out something so set in stone before creating monsters i'm like what am i really doing here um so the way you describe mosaic sounds like it would make a good wilted potempo based on yeah and i so what's really cool you guys is again so here's the list of many dex neo creatures that i'm bringing over because i think i can make them work so in at the top we've got some of the first tempos we've made right i designed this guy based on the aklet over here um the baku is a yokai and i altered their designs quite a bit and of course i will push these designs even further don't you worry for example my version of baku won't have a hypnotizing kind of thing but i can still bring that astral element right i loved my bijo line but it was getting too far away from um bijo so again maybe when i look at that weedle it doesn't look like weedle anymore it's kind of got things i could see myself turning that weedle into a gigantic dune inspired bug for example like sandworm i want to really make potempo the again mosaic might also even fit 
the terminology of my design for, for all of the lines, right? So I would say um, the more random and wacky, the cooler it is to me. But at the same time, like if there are through lines I can get, you know, um, the Guardian Foo Dog, that's absolutely something that I want to put into my game. Obviously, is it going to look like Arcanine? No, I'm just putting it there as a placeholder to help me remember the elements that I did to make my own. Um, over here, we have an Umbreon Espeon. I think a burst form or a finale form of a creature who's singular becoming two, and then two of them are looking at you is really cool. So I think that'd be a fun thing. Yokai, right? There's a lot of Yokai I can use for inspo. Uh, my own take on the Nine Tails. We know Renamon is a Nine Tails, Yokai inspired kind of creature. Um, a Pitcher Plant. Victory Bell is unique. Uh, doing some sort of carnivorous plant is a staple in like a lot of fantasy. So I think I'll do something like that. This Blossom take, I really changed, right? I gave my Blossom a flower umbrella um, that has this odor. Maybe I can make that a Potempo. Again, not all of these will track. Some sort of thing where it's ore that's refining itself obviously wouldn't be Magnemite into Magneton, but something like that could be very cool where it's like, it's got the, that ferro fluid and it's chunky and muddy and dinky, and then it becomes beautiful and clean. I get to tell the same stories I was doing before, you know? Um, something like, when I look at this shape, I'm thinking I kind of want to do a yokai based on Executor. I forget the original name, but I make it a Brachiosaurus long neck. You see how I can like still fuse a lot of you know concepts. I can make it work. Um, this is a beautiful concept. I don't know how I'd pull it off, but something that gets again kind of like the Magneton type of thing that gets far more continued as it goes. Um. If not, I still love how this came out. Maybe some sort of praying mantis kind of creature, a humanoid set of creatures could work over here. I want to bring this dragon air concept towards my legendary. These guys, you know, could be harpies, right? Snow eagle harpies, maybe, or not snow eagles, maybe barn owls, ghosts. I love this concept I created for these guys, but they didn't necessarily need it ghost based on coming out of a dark portal and then finally becoming a portal to the shadow realm or a ghost realm um maybe these guys for inspo for a more traditional slime bad guy because the ones i got as crazy as they are i want to see if i can land a simple one but anyway um this could be a really fun take for the um that mermaid that transforms from a seal i think we could do something really cool there Nessimon. Um, there's a lot of cool creatures. I want to have my own take on a humanoid Potempo. That's like a classic kind of concept we've seen. It really fits the, uh, the world. And I could think that maybe my take could be a homunculus. I think that'd be a really fun take. I had a really fun Star You Star Me design that I think I want to bring over. Um, these rock types. I really transformed Golem, for example. Um, my Sand Slash is insane. I loved how my Dug Trio came out. I want to see maybe these lines could influence a direction for my my Dune Sandworm concept, my own take on it. Um, I'd love to bring back my Bigfoot slash Yeti slash Swamp Monster. Um, my UFO concept was just too wacky, I think, for Parasect. But it, it's not wacky, or maybe it is wacky for Potempo. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. But as you can see, there's a lot of things that I brought over from Dex Neo where I felt like I was doing a lot. And then I have concepts where this take on my own take for a Maridon, Karadon mid-form, I can alter that with like a the geckos and lizards that take in the sun. And how do I alter that, right? Um there's plenty of stuff for me to figure out and so what i'm trying to say is now that a good chunk of dex neo and the other ones that still work as designs just because 
they're you know i didn't evolve their concepts far enough to make it my own thing where over here i see potential they'll exist in dex neo and maybe i can slowly redesign them over time but it's not my my dream you know i want to work on stuff for me as you know um love that victory bell looks like heavy metal yeah i think so too gemini per temple would be great for the cats uh it doesn't have to be cat it could be two fish could be really cool uh maybe a nod to avatar uh we don't kind of look like a tardigrade yeah like there's ways for me to look at exactly jc there's ways for me to look at my old mons and reconvert them furthermore gengar looks awesome potempo's own gengar who knows whatever that looks like right and ideally i want to push them away where it's not like oh that's bonnie's that's potempo's gengar we could say that but i would love for them to still be their own thing and be like oh that's bonnie's homage to it right um, which is why I won't give my takes on Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoise finale forms. They may only literally get two designs each. Because I need to still populate this world with regular creatures, right? Regular Potempos. Rocks. You can make the Porygon line like that. Rocks? Yes. Great idea. Great idea. Uh, definitely got to remember that one, Dingus. Thank you. A Lithic Potempo that goes through a Rock Tumbler? Yeah, something like that. Bug Alien Potempo? Honestly, I have my really awesome Genesect pass form as well as my deoxys pass form i want to see if i can get like some big cool insects out of there right talking about a selkie yep roll them glad was the first you my tuned into holy throwback let's go getting zidon exactly bibbidi bobbidi boobis hello bonillion hello michael welcome in um okay so we saw all those dex neo guys now you guys can't say like oh dex neo's dead uh, it is dead for tempo long live for tempo so um this is where you guys can come in if you guys want to leave again suggestions i'm not looking for names or this or that uh and again i'm gonna flash this sign real quick the following stream contains art and development of an original ip belonging to bonnie john any concept and development made on this stream belong to bonnie john creator in perpetuity anything shared through comic printing feedback searching aids to the development of property also belongs to the creator sure please refrain from sharing your own original ideas exactly if you got your own original ideas keep them to yourself don't be like bonnie stole it i'm just working on stream and you guys are hanging out with me by participating in the stream you agree to the above statement thank you very much if there's a gemini potempo could there be other constellation prompts honestly i think i would really love to do that um it would let me do some really simple but you know cute concepts um, it could be one Potempo, like an Eevee, that uh, evolves into the signs, like each one of them. That way I don't have to do like an insane number of work, right? I don't know how that would work because I haven't really talked about um, a lot of uh, Potempo evolution mechanics, let, let alone I don't really know how it would work. Um, okay. So for the spirit, or as I've been kind of calling it in my head, the base form, okay? It's, yeah, naturally, technically, it's the first. I'm still trying to figure out um, what exactly I would call it or, you know, what their look feel is going to be like. But I am really partial to a very, something inspired by will-o'-wisps because... You know a lot of these creatures live in the lanterns that's how they kind of appear in the world um so i like them appearing as wisps i like um the idea that um they're very simple in design and just like any kind of creature in digimon or pokemon it potentially gives a clue as to what's going to be born now for a chimera it's a little difficult to like highlight a multi-faceted creature um in its first form but maybe something that i've been thinking about is for the chimera uh i really like the idea of the snake being the first form um if not that right um 
could be maybe the head juts out like right here and it's like this base form is meant to be always very cute very simple and I, ideally again it's kind of little tease you know um now I also don't mind some fake out kind of stuff. Maybe a more traditional snake could fit something else. Maybe we need like a paw or something coming out or or who knows, maybe down the line I completely get rid of um you know, um this base form concept. So, let's just say the way I kind of want to see it for this line is or you know what? I'll do this. It's snake for the first one, right? And this is what I mean that Potempo operates on tempo shifts. Um, and then the finale forms is like explosion um, of those concepts that were set up into one powerful kind of form. Um, does that mean, see, so in a more Pokemon way, it would be like a snake and then it would be a goat with maybe the snake tail and then it would be a lion and that's the sum of all of its parts i don't necessarily think that's a bad thing either um but i don't mind if it's actually a straight up snake and becomes its own goat and then the lion is the fusion of them in fact i think that to me is stronger because that's where everything gets married in that burst right um I say the starter homages wouldn't even reflect the animals of the Kanto starters. Make them literally just be three runic potempo that reflects the types. Yeah, that's that's true. So, like for example, my Charizard uh, homage is not a dragon. It'll be a lizard, but a, maybe a more specific kind of lizard. Like, um, and maybe it doesn't even breathe fire, right? For example, it might literally just have orange tones or something. Um, love the yarn ball snake. Good, good, good. Potempo that can change forms depending on the date, like a real set. Oh, that would be a simple and cute one. But if you wanted to use a specific one, I wonder how that could be. Um, okay, let me start with a snake. And so part of why I chose this Potempo, again, I think it would do a great job of teaching, um, you know, players like how the evolution system works where with Digimon, maybe it's a bit too random. And then um, Pokemon is maybe a little sometimes too on the nose, which is fine. For, again, both are fine. Um, you know what? Maybe the spirit form should look more like a cute... Maybe because we know there's going to be a lion maybe it's something like this where maybe because it's it could be like their teasers you know so it's got like goat horns a lion's mane and then maybe the fire spirit kind of you know and then they could always all have like very simple and cute eyes that could be like a consistent factor. So we see there's horns and that maybe, you know, there's some semblance of like a mane. And you're like, what the hell is that? And that way, when it evolves, you're like, oh, okay, it was teasing. I, I see the Chimera now. We'll see. Uh, which domain would the Chimera go to? It'd be like Seasons in Unova where the date ranges. Yeah, but I'd want people to be able to... Again, I'm not promising anything. It's all conversation. But like if you, you know, for example, I'm in Aries and I get to enjoy these, this Aries season, whatever that means. I'd like if your your sign is this thing, like you don't have to wait forever. Like if your tempo evolved a certain way and because you're able to evolve in and out, having some sort of item or a means to specifically boost in the direction you want, I would give the, the players that freedom because i want them to be able to not have to wait on actual time one way or another to um get to play this their sign if they're connected to that right 
Uh, cryptid, it could be cryptid. Snake tongue, it could be a snake tongue. Welcome in, welcome in. Uh, maybe they don't even have mounts, so I'll keep it something simple for now. I don't know what the look feel will be, but you know, it's something that... Although that looks like that one thing from League of Legends, the cute little furball things they have. Uh, Fluffy Chibi Critter, indeed, Roxanne, welcome in. I'm Scorpio, literally the last day. Um, but, okay, yeah, so as for... Um, I could potentially see this guy being... Uh, let's mark it down. I think it could be like an unholy abomination, the element, or rather the domain, I should say. Gothic domain plus cryptic. And it, I don't, and just because something is scary or evil or mean looking, it doesn't have to be wilted. In this case, I could make a story that it was created by people specifically. Um, but then does that mean a lot of the chimeric entities are going to be wilted? Maybe, maybe not. It could be cool if, you know, it's all about directionality, right? Um, so for example, I could see myself do a thing where, um, I'd say if it came down to it. Um, most chimeric things could be like human ab abominations, right? But at the same time, I, I like the idea of Potempo in themselves are so unique that to humans, right? Like to us, we see the chimera as three different creatures. This version is only inspired by the chimera, right? It is not a chimera in this world. You know what I mean? There's angles to it. Um, you guys get what I mean by that? A go with snake eyes and snake tails as horns would be metal. That is a more Pokemon approach, but I don't hate that. Um, I did start doing something like that. It could be even like the coloration, you know, start setting up the example. Because remember, my designs aren't Pokemon, so where possible you know if i can just switch up how things might look and just have simple designs i'd always have simple designs over at trying to be too extra right so maybe again the color pattern could in incorporate goat horn shape and then that's a through line rather than it having a goat horn to like set up the next one. Now, that might be something that I'll do, you know, on my second passes or something, but we'll see. Poros, that's what it is. Thank you, Dingus. Taurus represented born at the end of this month. Okay. Unholy abomination, so casually, yeah. Would you say Time Gold Sylvia based on the Chimera? Absolutely. Uh, don't say Chimera in front of full metal alchemist. How are you gonna make Aquarius work since it might end up looking like a bowl of water? Well, here's the thing. As I was saying before, Roxanne, none of these things are going to be true one-to-one -one elements right only inspired by it so for example um this chimera i'm my current iteration is i'm not planning on the chimera looking like various parts of an entity right like how it looks you know in our understanding of mythology i think my case for my take of Chimera is like this fully fused thing that it was always meant to be, you know? Um, let's see. You, does that make sense? That way, the Chimera is a, is a potempo, not a mythical creature from our world. My take is inspired by it. You know, it could still have elements of like different things like spikes or something and be like, oh, okay, here's this cute little, you know, this is the first stage, right? So you have your spirit form or your base form, as it were, whatever it looks like. I don't know if I'm going to keep that kind of concept, but we'll see. Um... It could even be like, this could look like a mane, for example. I don't know yet.
and again the connecting tissue here would probably be things like coloration right um that kind of looks like hair it's crazy trying to think of visual things to be like how do you not make it look like pokemon and you know i suspect some stuff will look like pokemon and other things you know might not but that's all stuff that i'll figure out in a second pass right um let me go into the goat next and you know after i put down my ideas then i'll be able to um really hearken on what i want to do um because you know at the end of the day for example the manticore right originally i was thinking like i would make the manticore um you know some sort of creature that might be another like a split form of this line but i realized i could still make it completely unique and different you know and, and its own thing right and what i mean by that is for example when it comes to um the chimera right we're like oh it's got like the lion in it right and then the manticore has a lion as well and naturally you know a lot of these cultural kind of stories and concepts and whatnot all have very similar things right be it if they're from similar cultures or the way stories pass in, in real time in the world of the history of the world i could see my manticore being based on a tiger instead of um you know instead of a lion and it would be like tiger stripes with bat wings and a scorpion tail you know like that to me would be a unique way to not have to repeat the same big cat you know what i mean uh and that's an exciting thought to me you know um what if you give the snake slit eye sideways to resemble its next go evo maybe it could be stuff like that right uh chimera combination of key like the live ended chimera like the name uh i'm not looking for name suggestions right now but uh, yeah if you want to list ideas and stuff like i'm not against it um there would be the one character who acknowledges the wild evolutions everyone's like oh cool new form while they're saying are we not going to yeah well no i think that's the thing right in their world that kind of stuff is normal right like that's what like if you wanted to liken say animals to potempo but i think in my world like potempo have probably been around maybe not around like a lot of communities in the world so they again they'll see a chimera and be like yeah of course this thing evolves into that right um if you see full metal alchemist uh homunculus monster is an alternate form um homunculus that would be cool seeing different version of chimera yeah exactly like to me the idea is again i am not in some cases yes i am making a um let's say a fake mon um or not a fake mon like a potempo based on say again a goat or a ram or whatever it is um but then when when there's like a lot of crossover especially from the sake of um again lions we're gonna see a few times right i think in is it a hippogriff like there's another creature where there's like a potential lion body right someone someone in chat correct me we have say a chimera and a manticore that has a lion's body and then what else rather than me doing something like um you know i do three different lines and then have them part of one line i could like make a tiger like for example i've been dying to try and figure out ways to get m tiger right and kintori for example i might be losing the kintsugi element um but they will always live as fake mon that's fine but i still want to bring a tiger over with that spirit you know um so mustox is a giant giant woolly oh yeah see i want to hear stuff like that because 
again, if I can like swap up certain things, that'd be cool to me. Now that you played around with the idea of Potempo being a different world so that so many people can access, the joke is based on that. Got that. Griffin and Sphinx also. There you go. Yes, yeah, Sphinx. So instead of like the Sphinx, maybe like instead of a cat body, it could be a jackal's body, right? Or, you know, some other sort of cat with a unique marking. Uh, I thought of the Japanese yokai version of Chimera, the new way. Combination monkey head, tiger's leg, raccoon body. I'll mark that down. It could certainly be its own creature, or at least own inspiration. Sharaba, okay, I've seen this before. I believe those are decorated on temples. That's another tiger kind of thing, I believe. Um, but, okay, let's just say... Here's the goat kind of creature. And again, the strength of my designs is that you're trying to, you know, evolve your potempos into their finale forms, right? Like, it's not like I need to make these middling forms super awesome or anything. You're not going to really spend time with them as much. The idea is when you get into your battles, you're likely trying to, um, you know, get to the finale form, right? If you have a Charizard and a Megastone, you're almost never going to see Charizard, right? Like, you are probably almost always going to, um, you know, evolve it to its strongest form. So, whether or not I have permanent Evos, I've always loved Digimon and like being able to revert your buddies out, you know, and they're just these cute little critters. You know, if I can do that, that'd be great. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the direction. Let's bring. I'm wondering at the very least, I could maybe. Let's do something like, it could have like, and color and stuff I'll figure out, but like, what if, I wanna give him like a brolic neck. Or you know what, it could be cool just to do it in such a subtle way, like this goat is sticking out. Uh, a, a forked tongue and you're like what the crap is going on with this guy and, and maybe you know what maybe I can give him like subtle man part of me does want to again keep it straight up like a regular goat and you're like what the crap you know what yeah let's do that instead of the tail we'll make it fluffy and it's the one little bit that reveals something is coming in it's finale form I think that's going to be sick um the Tigger Line is some of my favorite fake money you made. Their story is awesome. Final form so good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, maybe the goat has horns that resemble snake fans. Another direction to take things. Uh, there's a griffin relative called a Valravin. It's part raven, top half, and wolf, bottom half. Part of nice. Uh, is there an outlet for people who don't want to battle in Potempo and still want to hang out with them? Yeah, I would. No, dude, I don't like Pokemon battling as it were. I would never have. Potempo be creatures that like are forced into fighting. I'm sure there's still plenty of uses for Potempo in the world, right? Like if there's Beasts of Burden, maybe like the Potempo, not even Beasts of Burden, they're your friends. Like they're just able to do more than your say normal ox or something, right? Um, maybe people do use them for like bodyguards and stuff and to protect them, maybe, you know? Um, but I. No, like fighting is not the only thing, you know. I'm a pacifist. Uh, it's like in an anime where the transformation gets phased out as the more powerful one is mastered. Yes, exactly. But a different big cat for mana course, just the mana course from Persia. I like that thinking. I like that thinking, Draco. Like thinking about where it's from. Since someone remind me, where's the chimera from exactly? Is it Greek or Roman mythology? And give me suggestions for unique goats or snakes that, like lions are one thing right i would say the lion is a pretty iconic part of this design so i don't want to change lion um 
but snakes from Greece, right? Or, or goats from Greece. It could be cool to give real world homage, but again, also, I don't necessarily mind. Because that way, the Potempo feel even more unique and less inspired by their real world counterparts, right? Uh, for the Gothic domain, uh, not off the top of my head, but like it would be more cerebral creatures, right? When I get to designing more insane designs, I think we'll see more gothic designs. Like maybe, for example, maybe the crazy jellyfish could be gothic, and then I could do a more pure, like more single cell version of um, the slimes, because I do want a cute slime set. I was thinking about it. Um, and in fact, you know what? Dang, I don't want to switch gears, but I'm just going to pull it up just to like make kind of like a mental note. I think I'm going to do two slimes because I think one slime can be inspired by... Hmm... One slime could be like a single cell kind of direction, right? Where it's like it's cute, simple, dumb, and then it bursts into something crazy. And I think a jellyfish could be really cool. Um, to me, like a jellyfish would fit perfectly in, in a cryptid gothic, right? So let me do, for example, I'll do a quick thing. This is something that's going to happen a lot. I kind of want to do a simple goopy one, right? And then how they could even have a connection between the two. Then I kind of want to do one like a gelatinous cube homage like this, like a melting jello. And it could be, you know, its mouth is open like that. And then the second line could be a jelly that's maybe, it could still be a hand, right? And then it becomes the two hands and then, or you know what? Maybe this guy could be the final Man, but at the same time, it was a very unique concept. The hand gel, like, that could still be cryptid gothic. You know what I'll do? It doesn't have to have boost. What am I thinking? I could just do a simple one where it's like a sphere and then evolved into this. And then this line is the more intense gel. These guys would be the more simple basic B gel cuties, right? Like with the simple eyes or something. And then like, it's kind of like making this reference. It's like, oh wow, in its DNA, it could have been this, but it boosted and became something crazy. Um, okay, cool. Good diversion. Good, good, good. Chimera's Greek, gotcha. Gothic architecture is known for gargoyles. I could see that being lithic, lithic gothic for the gargoyle, where it's made of stone. Um, Chupacabra could be one of the Spanish cultures. Talked about how much it sucks the blood out of sheep. Some say it's like a goat creature with a snake tail. Ooh, I like the chupacabra idea. Chupacabra. Being of Greece and Rome, the snake's horns look like it's a Roman helmet side guards. There you go. And you know, color could make a big impact too. Maybe I do something like this. I don't know. It's just to add, you know, some kind of thing. Now, because I am going to be pulling from a lot of different cultures, I don't mind, you know, paying homage to where I get these, you know, world histories from. But it could be that when they become their boosted or finale forms, they really become their own entity, right?
Scratch them looking pictures, that's more of a dog looking creature, a humanoid depending. But here's the thing that's our real world thing. I could make it a goat that is a blood sucker, you know? Jersey Devil's a goat, but that'd be a whole other potempo. Here's the thing I could probably connect the two. I might do a thing where one of my like Naga is the mother of monsters. I could have that be a Lamia, and then it becomes a Medusa like kind of thing, and then it evolves into a beholder. It's crazy. But I think it's cool and fun, you know? Imagine that you'd be having a face and looks like they're just happy to be there. Yeah, I think that's... Honestly, I think that's what I was trying to go for, Rex. So, um... So they got a mohawk. Hell yeah, I like it. Good, good, good. Okay. Now, here's going to be the really cool guy. Um, I high-key kind of want to just base it off of the... My Chimera Twisted Roar. So I'll, you know... I'm gonna basically make it with Twisted Roar, right? AKA, I think it was Amalgamite. Um, I did a thing where I made sure that the Pokemon that were being represented were part of, um, you know, they were part of each line to make one whole. I'm going to, again, make my version of this creature look like one cohesive beast. So, for example, when I get around to my manticore, it may not look feline or furry. It might have straight up insectoid features and maybe the scorpion element really takes over, right? It could be that maybe the bat elements really take over. There is so many cool ways for me to handle my Potempo designs. And I think the more and more I like showcase to you guys, like, hey, let's stop thinking about the Potempo as like in Pokemon, right? They're like, it's the Chimera Pokemon or the Bat Pokemon. In this, I want to see, I want to see how far I could really push design. And instead of making this chimera feel like the sum of all of its parts by like fusing all of it, it's gonna feel cohesive, you know? So I could see myself doing Rattletail Snake and the back half has the goats, but it's not gonna look segmented. It's going to look like it's all part of the same body. You know what I mean? Um, so maybe it's a snake, or rather, excuse me, a lion's head with goat eyes, and, and but it's like all intentional, right? Uh, Chupacabra that evolves into a Jersey Devil Potempo. Yeah, like, I want to I wanna see what kind of crazy combos I can pull, you know? Because I'm not trying to make the Jersey Devil as a Pokemon, the Jersey Devil as a Potempo. Ak looked as a Pokemon. Ak looked as a Potempo. It's this creature is based off of a real world thing, right? What if it was a Diamondback Rattlesnake? Sure. I mean, again, I I want to see unique concepts, or rather, sorry, not unique, but like ideally, it would be. Um, I would love to do animals that haven't been seen yet in in pokemon so that way they feel even more fresh in potempo right um potempo based off the mother of all faces no avatar's a little too specific and modern for me to um you know pull from as far as mythological unless there is a real world inspo for, from real world culture that inspired uh, mother of all faces uh damascus goes straight out of hell sheesh uh just imagine snake force screaming like a goat yeah could you imagine although actually i'm not gonna lie i'm really tired of that joke i never found the screaming goats thing funny in fact i think in thor love and thunder hearing that like just cringed me out um so werewolves who are creatures of moon because because become Fenrir that will eat the sun. Hmm. Fenrir, does Fenrir have a specific look? 
I, I am planning on doing a werewolf. Like that's like a pretty set in stone kind of mythological creature. If you guys need any kind of idea or basis of how I'm choosing to do a lot of my creatures, a lot of it is like, if you're a mythological creature, you're probably going to make it at some point. It's kind of like the vibe, you know? Um, let me do something crazy for this guy. I'm looking at some references. I'm going to give him a massive uh, lion maw. That way, you know, so for example, maybe one day I will make a lion for tempo. But for now, I'd rather instead of having like my take on a lion, I do like a mythological version of a lion, right? Um, instead of a tiger, I do a mythological version of a tiger. I don't mind making a regular lion, but I think people would be joy bored by that, right? You know, Pyroar is a fine design. It does what it needs to in the world of Pokemon, for example. But at the very least, they're like, I can make it a fire lion. I could technically make it like another kind of typing, right? If I wanted to, but... I'm trying to find the right lion opening its maw. Maybe something like... Something like that. Um, hear me out, monsters? A lot of the creatures from Avatar are just real, real creatures but fused together. That's true, but it's so specific to Avatar. Now, I don't mind doing, say, homage to maybe one, like, if I, I love, you know, Appa, for example. Doing a six-legged bison would be, like, encroaching too much of their territory, you know? Um, because that's such a specific design, right? Uh, Fenrir doesn't need to send he eats Odin and his two children? Oh my god. They still have a bunch of Hindu goddesses with multi-faces. Uh, animals of ATL rule. Yeah, they're so- Turtle ducks are among the cutest by far, for sure. Um, okay, so let me do... This guy looks like he's in pain. Um, I'm seeing some Chimera here with dragon wings. Or wings in general. Which is, you know, maybe too much. It could be cool that the rest of the body actually... Are there other major lion-like entities? Do you guys know? Because it would be cool to give them like fully scaled arms. But at the same time, like I said, I want to... Kelpie Potempo is a thing. Um, for sure. Okay, this guy looks pretty dang sick. So snake into goat into lion. You see what I'm like? This this is the Potempo formula. Okay. Um, in case anyone is ever asking you like, hey, you know, I've heard about this really cool, handsome, talented, epic artist named Bonnie John. He's doing something called Potempo. And you're like, why, well, yes, citizen, he is. And you're like, could you explain to us what Potempo is? 
You go, well, of course. Uh, it's what Bonnie would want. And then you tell them, um, well, with Potempo, um, the creatures, they all evolve as if they live as part of a totem pole. And they are the sum of all their parts and have insane potential and energy in them that alter their dispositions uh, greatly depending on what their real world influence is. All right, so let me see. I'm wondering where I could do things like snake stuff. I mean, it could just be the focus could be just a lion. Would we say the chimera is the penultimate lion inspired creature? Yay or nay? Is there another mythological creature based on the lion that like the lion deserves to be the, the star and, and like the focus of, you know? Slight near the eight-legged horse. All the animals are just chimerical creatures. They're only one to do. They're just a notable example. Yeah, but more so of like if I created a six-legged flying bison inspired thing, that's a little on the nose. Like I could maybe get away as homage to Avatar, like a turtle duck could be something I could quote unquote get away with without feeling like I took their design. You know? You're right, they're definitely not the only people to do chimerical designs, but there's the domain line, a sibling of the chimera, the same. But tell me exactly what that means. What is, I feel like I've learned from the past, but like, what is, what, what makes it the domain line? What is it connected with? Um, a tail doing combo animals? No, 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 for sure. And I'm not saying I'm never touching fusion of my own animals. Like, you know, like if I wanted to do like a creation of certain things, but more so that like, if, like the turtle duck is a pretty iconic one, right? Um, where can I find room, basically, right? Um, okay, I'm gonna look up cool goat horns. Cool goats. Yeah, specific combos. Okay. I do like the classic one that's kind of wrapped. And then also, are there any cool goats? You know? I know as far as snakes, right? I can do like a Lamia, Naga, uh, Echidna. I'll mark all that stuff down. Cool goats, cool goat horns. Ooh, this one's like a very Baphomet looking one. Let me try one that comes like this. Oh, it kind of look like T. Oster or something, which, which could be really freaking sick, actually. It looks like tusks. So let me do one horn comes like right here. And then another could come you know what let's do something like that could be pretty interesting Dang, I really want to give him like snail-like body, snail-like body, snake scale-like body, but at the same time, again, I don't want it to look like it's multiple parts, like it, it should feel cohesive in this boost form, right? Or finale form. Um, 
Maybe it's just big and impervious, Hercule just choke. Okay, so it doesn't have any unique thing, right? Because it's gold, oh, well, so it was golden fur, cannot be killed. Its claws are sharper than mortals. Gotcha, thank you for that. But so while it is a popular concept, there's nothing I think in its, I mean, unless I made it like a pure gold lion, maybe my chimera could be like more like a darker lion, you know, like Mufasa or something. Um, this kind of look like mandibles, actually. The Trask has a lion face, a turtle shell, a scorpion. I do want to do a Trask, not like the D and D version, but the French, uh, the French inspired one that Arthur mentioned. Lion face, a turtle shell. A scorpion tail, six bear arms, and the body of a bull? It's a lot. How do I pull a Tarask off? Looks like bunny ears at the moment. Yeah, it does, right? <laughs> uh, Loki's a scab. Probably look like horns of color. Uh, good lord, mythology is really weird. It does have a rattlesnake tail. It's a little hard to see. You know what, let's let's make it like kind of like a longer tail. It could be the rest of the body is maybe Hmm, maybe the last one the rest of the body is scaly. Hmm. There's always a lot of stuff I gleam from these. Something I want to do, guys, is I want to do a second pass today on the Potempo God, because I got a ton of awesome ideas and, like, direction I could take it. Kind of want to, yeah, push it a little. Let's, I don't like the top horn. They do look like bunny ears. So let's do. The mane could be a cobra hood. That's pretty cool. That would feel Egyptian to me, actually. I mean, which isn't, I can make it my own chimera, right? It doesn't have to be. But I like that idea. Rule like the Minotaurs. Uh, Mufasa, say it again. I don't know what it first thing you don't need to explain further. Uh, I do know that story. It looks grotesque. Um, okay, let's do goat horns again. <laughs> There's, I mean, goat horns are crazy looking. Okay, fine. Goats with unique. I swear, you gotta type everything very specific. Okay, this these look interesting. I do like that one. Okay, hold on. I think I got something cool. How do we... Okay, so let's do... I'm gonna do... I'm going to get the, yeah, okay. Lion horns. Lion horns? No, that's not what I meant to say. I meant to say lion head. Black clover. I have seen black clover just a little bit. I never really got into it, but I don't know too much about it. I know like the bare minimum. Minotaur Hera cursed one of Zeus's flings to, yeah. Um, guys, tell me about your weekend. What'd you guys do?
This guy looks silly. So yeah, I don't think there really is another super iconic lion-faced kind of entity, right? Like it might be... It might be this guy. Where you got Nadpod? I've been grazing it, completely destroying it. I'm actually in Trinivale now. I want to finish the Trinivale episodes. Do not tell me how long they are. I'd love to be surprised. Um, and once I finish Trinivale, I think I'm going to get back into Dropout to finish um and catch up with the current season of uh fantasy high which with fantasy high um i never saw the season two so um i, I really enjoy watching or rather excuse me listening to podcasts because it's a medium where you you know it's mostly for listening so that way i don't have to um you know, look away, I can just draw and illustrate, you know? Uh, Greek, Greek and Egypt were pretty close, very true. Um, bought grocery is nice. Good, most people quit before they start to extend. Yeah, I, dude, I'm not gonna lie, I straight up think it's like a Naruto clone. There are parts of it I like, but like I, I couldn't get past that in the beginning. The main guy does feel like Naruto. The other Brody looks just like Sasuke, or not looks, but like, seems like Sasuke, one's like, I wanna be the Hokage, but it's like the Magic King, I think. Um... But I like the idea of the grim stuff, you know? Sphinx Catman. My weekend was playing Skyline just Super Chats. All right. Friday might be late for tomorrow, so we're going to see a movie. Okay, nice. Enjoy the movie. Enjoy the movie. I saw Godzilla vs. Kong. I feel like you'd enjoy that. Um, and I know that's probably something you've already seen before. Uh, Timmy, you just catch the nap pod you went through. I know. I blasted through it for my walks and my runs and stuff. And when I'm illustrating. Um... Okay, let me do... You know what? Maybe he could have, like, a Billy Goat's... Oh, look, look. This could be a cool thing. We give him, like, a Billy Goat's... Um... Goatee. And that would further differentiate it from, say, the like, the regular mane. Like, there's a layer to it, so to speak. That's what we're gonna see? Nice, dude. It was super fun. You know, you just go in to just enjoy the ride and, you know, they just know how to make those guys so damn cool. All right, I've seen this cool Billy Goat Man right here. Let me do, what if I did horns? Oh, they do look like freaking bunny ears that way. <laughs> uh, you know what? There's a lot of negative space here, so I'll do this. I'm going to have... Curling, I guess ram horns, right? More than goat horns. Is that what that is? At the very least, I can have these come out right here. But I definitely want a second set. You know what? It could be these horns that I'm looking at. Yeah, there you go. That's a chimera. I can't remember if I ever seen one. Before. Something like that. What if there's a cyclist with this manicure guy that referenced the three Billy Goats? You get him at the end of it? <laughs> that thing could be cute. Catch up on Dimension 20, more difficult, since you gotta watch it. Yeah, I mean, you could still, like, kind of have it on the side. It is very rewarding, naturally, to watch it. But I've I've spent a lot of the time not necessarily, like, watching it. Like, I'll look and I can rewind if I need to. You could still, you know, that way you don't feel, like, too behind, you know? They have versions that are like listen only on Dropout. I don't know what that means. If it's maybe they like cut it in a way where they don't keep as much commentary kind of stuff, you know? I don't know.
naturally when i do second passes i'll focus on like better poses but also at the same time i don't think i need to have like insane poses right like it could you know think about it key art should just describe you know if, if i were to like necessarily animate these guys then yeah it would probably be like more important or if i made like again a potential direction for me to take this is um making this like a tabletop or a board game right or like maybe like a deck builder or some sort of thing like that um if that were the case then i could do like really cool illustrations for like card art but like yeah just trying to figure out the designs it's okay so you see i don't necessarily have to do let's do this it doesn't have to it's gonna still be a lion okay cool so rather than making it again feel like the sum of its all of its parts right like this is the back half of, of a goat it could still be like these parts still be black like a goat and just resemble you know oh you know what we could do the under half of this can be scale like like a snake and the top top part is like furry and then it ends in like a rattle for example and actually that way the snake part really kind of comes in and like acts as the underside hell maybe even instead of lion paws it could be like goat paws maybe because the lion part is is yeah maybe we'll do that You see how I mean like how I get to still make it the sum of all of its parts and it doesn't look like you know we might normally see the chimera with the front half of a lion maybe I'll change it back I do like the pause for it to like scratch and stuff but like at the same time like anywhere I can like make a more unique and interesting kind of design rather than again the potempo version you know like this is more unique and interesting looking, you know? It still feels awesome and powerful, right? We still don't want to get trampled by, like, this thing one way or another. Uh, Komainu is a type of lion monster. Tell me about the Komainu. I think I've heard about it. You know what? In that case, yeah, maybe I'll do like a Komainu or a lion dog. I could do like a lion dog could be a really cool version to where I can have the lion's paw and make that like the focus, you know? Very sharp hooves, yep. Uh, like how it's saying, you know, good, good, good. William Ram. Uh, try the audio version, just slow to the audio of the episode. Gotcha. Goat hooves become arm braces on the lion? What does that mean, arm braces? Um, Chimera is apparently a sibling of Cerberus and Hydra. Yep. Japanese version of the Chimera called the Nue. Yep, we got Nue as well that we marked earlier. Uh, just very sharp hooves. Picture is only see tiger body, no raccoon. And I could do whatever, you know? Some depictions, yeah. I feel like this guy doesn't use a tail as a warning because you hear it's loud rattling, rubbing like a whip like snake yeah yeah remember i mean look you wouldn't find again this is the boosted form you're not going to find this guy in the um in the wild you would see the spirit form you know only another trainer could help unlock or not another but like only a trainer could unlock these boosted forms out of you know um, these creatures all right let's start doing color and stuff um what's up joke welcome in welcome in like gouging fire and primar arm braces that's that feels like very pokemon to me though like adding 
I don't I don't think it's impossible to add that, but it feels very much like a Pokemon kind of thing. Uh, I might do something like that, but for now I'm gonna just kind of put colors down to see how it goes. Um, yeah, zombie uprising happened. We did put it to a stop because it, it was gonna get kind of dicey if we let it sit. Um, what else, gang? Let's do. I kind of like black, gold, yellow for this line of creatures. You know? So just because it's a snake that evolves into a goat that evolves into a lion, I don't necessarily think it needs to be entirely, you know, um, random and they look completely different from each other. I wouldn't be against it. But I want to try a version where. Again, maybe the color it acts as a through line, you know? Can't go wrong with this color palette. And then another thing that I have to be very, let's be honest, that I have to be very um, mindful of is, you know, making sure, you know, with Pal World, like they were kind of shameless at times with the inspiration. If it didn't outright right look at it, maybe the color was part of it. I want to see and make sure if my color palettes within reason can kind of like always be their own things and whatnot, you know? So it could be that these creatures, while they all look very different, they still look like they belong in a family. You know? Maybe the goat hooves have a scale. No, I think having a regular texture will be fine because uh, the heavy lifting of the scale patterns happens across the entire bottom half of the body, um, which I'll see if I can highlight so it could be like this bottom half is all yellow or you know it could be red i like the idea of the yellow being at the end there it might have to be red could be the under color here How I see it, Chimerico's Lion, Nue's Tiger, Manicor, Leopard, or Cheetah, Sphinx, Hairless Cat. Yeah, I think Hairless Cat, right? Uh, Snake looks like it's got a gladiator on, but that's kind of the vibe. I'm going to see if it works or not. Um, could be a Jaguar for Manicor. Oh. Well, it, it, again, it doesn't have to be exact, Doctor. Doctor Crowbar. Doctor. Um, yeah, it's just inspired, so it doesn't have to be exact at all. Like, I don't mind if I put ram's horns here for example right i'm not making a goat right i'm making up a tempo and it can you know maybe the snake has giant hoof looking scales no i don't think so uh jaguars don't live in persia but remember persia is not real persia is not real in patempo um if again possible if i can pay homage to certain elements i'm not against that but i i want everyone just to remember that like there is so much room for interpretation here, you know? Um, I'm not going to limit what I can do, right? If sticking to the script, you know, helps make a really awesome design, I'll go for it. But ideally, where I can change up the script, I will, you know, try and do something. Um, okay. Let's see how these guys continue to build up. Let's work on this guy. Specifically in Abstech? Yes, they are revered there.
and there's still so much room for me to alter designs you know if boost evolutions at some point look really different or you know don't be surprised right like it's instead of saying more than possible it will happen and i'm just still trying to figure out the look feel right Okay, so we've got the lion's head coming in. Let's see what I can do to make it feel unique and interesting. Spare Baby looks like uh, that beta wolfman Pokemon with no legs or arms. I know that guy. Pretty sure he used to be real in Potempo. Wasn't it post-apocalyptic? It was in the third war of humankind it existed and then after. The design crescendo. What does that mean exactly? It sounds cool. So, like I said, I think it'll be really cool if my Manticore, maybe the Jaguar could be a good fit for it, or like a Black Panther or something. And the idea would be then to do something like, um, again, the body could have the shape of a Panther, but maybe it's textured in an exoskeleton that the scorpion would have because i think the focus would be less about the lion face or the tiger face and more of like either the massive wings or in the, the case of the manticore the inter interesting thing visually i think would be like a large um you know um scorpion tail right like that should be the focus so rather than it being you know a chimera it's like part these different things you know uh use black panther i was just saying that maybe if think you missed my question so i'm going to tap over again how come potemba can only boost evolve with humans how connected um so again I'll, it's still so much that i have to figure out so it could easily be changed um i think the way i like it is that like they are like two the way i'm currently writing it is that they are two sides and i'll frame it more as like a question to figure it out so maybe i won't give away everything because it's maybe a big deal maybe it's not but like if if i'm playing with the idea that maybe my potempo were originally like all creatures like the way i'll do it is like this all creatures in the world used to be one entity right uh, maybe they were all Potempo. However, over time, uh, Potempo would be split into a simplified form of animal, right? Like your beasts of burdens, like chicken, and, and you know, I'm going to have chicken and, and rats and bison and all these kind of entities living in the world, right? Actually, you know what? Let me flip. Um, and so what would then happen is humans and animals really ended up living in this domain and really uh owning it and potempo whether or not they were relegated to or banished or lost power over time whatever it is the way i kind of see it is that they live in their own kind of not mirror world but like a space adjacent to um the world that could that could still very much change um and the idea is that i think i like the idea that humans have like elements of them that like make them tempo adjacent and so to me it's very important that i tell the story that like the bonds are what's important right not only do the bonds that people have with their potempo you know make their potempo stronger but as a result the human themselves are also way more stronger and and 
you know, like therefore more unique or, or carry more potential than those um, humans that don't have bonds with the tempo. So it's kind of like they need each other. And I also like the idea of clearly like drawing as if I'm not looking at um, reference. Um, and so to me, like the idea that they kind of need each other is beautiful and important. Um, that, you know, the boost forms, you could probably find the goat version of this creature out in the wild. Right, but I'd like it so that when you catch the goat, it automatically reverts to, um, you know, its spirit form, right, or whatever I end up calling it, base form or whatever, and that only with the bond it can like get to the stage it needs to. Ooh, you know what? This feels like a lion, like a goat, like some crazy... Again, it doesn't look like a traditional chimera, which I think is really nice. Yet you can kind of tell it it's supposed to be. Right? You know what? So the snake belly, I'll give it, rather than scales, because that's too busy, it'll be like, and I guess it'll look more draconic, if anything, for better or for worse, but still plenty of room to figure out this design. Uh, God decided to disenchant some Potempo. It might be something like that. It could be a story-related thing where, you know, maybe as a punishment or humans did a lot of damage that they have to undo. Uh, since the snake is a Roman helmet, I just imagine Lion Sage here has a torrent because of laurels. I like that a lot. But again, I don't want to necessarily do too much as far as symbolism. It may be something I need to do down the line. But I like that you made the connection for sure. Uh, Rec is uh, teaching me here. Crescendo is when you get progressively louder in music. I imagine as Potempo evolved, there's their design builds on self or crescendos. I like that. I like that quite a bit. I could say, I, I could definitely reference if, you know, there's like a musician kind of character. It could be maybe that, like, in order to tame these beasts or, or begin a tuning. Maybe in addition to, um, you know, the lantern, maybe you need like a pan flute or some sort of music tool. Like, it's another very fantastical element, you know, that I think could be really cool. Um, I really like how I'm pushing this design more and more. It's looking kind of insane, right? Um, so I guess it's not super lion like it but i mean it's got a lion's head that's all the requirement i need um before there was anything there was nothing before there was nothing there were potempo monster Energy storage also falls in but yeah i like the bonds thing i feel like it's something i absolutely would want to do you know like that's obviously super important in pokemon as well but like for example, like how I even came up with Boost, it's not that Boost was its own unique thing in the beginning and I still have to find a, find a way to make it like my own unique thing. Um, but Boost was originally, you know, um, you know, Mega Evolution. It still kind of is. Like I've got to find ways to maybe potentially make it different. Potentially make it different, right? Chimera, Chimera breeds fire. Connected with Potempo plays Bowser's Fury. Uh, would humans be the only animals to be able to be with Potempo or could cows and chills? I I really like the idea. That's a fun question, Mast. And hello, Gabby. Thank you for the heart. I'll take it. Yoink. Um, I would say that um, I like the notion that maybe the most chillest of animals or, you know, like certain creatures could potentially uh, be chilling with um 
you know like they could just chill with Patemp. well no so here's the thing I, and again this is all stuff I have to figure out so you know don't don't quote me on anything yet right it's all subject to change but I could you know like as of right now I'm really picturing that like Patempo are in like a secondary universe and that they're able to kind of like peer through the stronger they are so maybe like simple Patempo that don't need a lot of strength to break through maybe they're they are chilling with camels or, or cows or something you know um maybe there's like a small order of Patempo that go through because i like the notion of maybe making potempos like just straight up like items in the world as well and maybe they're a different class of potempo right for example i have that one dust bunny who i love so much and i'm like struggling to find how i would evolve a dust bunny i don't think a dust bunny is something that i want to necessarily have fight in the world it's so cute however maybe i could do a thing right where um what if instead of a a dust bunny and it evolves into something more vicious that's possible right so it doesn't have to be like a, a small bunny that evolves into a big bunny right for example uh, give me Rajan vibes. Nice. I love Rajan. Ever heard of an anime called Blue Dragon? It's, I think, based off of a game first before an anime. In fact, Akira Toriyama did the designs for it. Potemple visible to the naked eye. As of now, I'm not planning that. But I think I want to do a kind of thing where it's like, if you're strong enough, like, you could potentially see them, you know? Um, so... We'll see. Again, I want to see if I can make things feel like my own thing and it's not like, oh, it's another flavor of Pokemon. You know? Uh, Cassette Beast, one of the partner characters, is straight up a dog. It learned how to use the cassette player to transform. Dust Jackalope and Dust Wolfentinger? What does that mean, dust? I might be sick with this, but unlike when animals have a creature, it feels like it's defeating the purpose of creature collecting. Um, animals have a creature? It feels like it's defeating. Hold on, rewrite that because I'm not understanding that. Okay, so how the hell do I bring this back to track? It's got like a gorilla front half, which is interesting. Um, not exactly the vibe I want to go for, but... Okay, I think I know what to do. I got a nice reference. So I'll do... It is fun to be able to like design crazy stuff on stream again. It's, it's, it is fun. Okay, so let, yeah, let me bring up the back half. And it'll, yeah, you know what? It needs more lion style legs. And it could still finish in like these pitch black hooves. And then to just show a different texture, it'll be like white here. Um, it's kind of got a terrakion body i think is kind of like the issue that i this should make it less like that um Like a dust bunny that possibly evolved into a bird into a deer with a wolf wolfentinger boost. Wolfentinger is a German. Um Oh, I see what you're saying. Dust. Oh, you know what? That's really smart. Yeah, because I could kind of see a little jackalope be the next stage for a mouse. That's really great. Wolfentinger. 
and a jackalope. That would be a fun way to make that work. That would be a, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Being able to connect multiple concepts, you know, like it doesn't have to be in a very Pokemon way, a teenage cat into a big cat, you know, from a small cat. Like for me, if the vibes are similar, that's important, right? Creature collecting stuff. I don't like when an animal has a creature. It feel like when animals have a creature, it feels like a creature is just taking. I'm, I'm, I'm just not really understanding. I don't really, I don't like when an animal has a creature. It feel like when animals have a creature, it feels like a creature. I feel like I'm losing my mind. No offense. I'm not getting it. Um, either way, one way or another, I'm just going to make the best designs I can. Is my thing. Um, let me do. Okay, so we've got the thing here. Um, I guess it kind of also looks like a bull or something. You don't like pets having pets is what you're saying? You don't like pets having pets. Oh, Justin's trying to say he does not like having a normal animal. Oh, I got you. Yeah, I just couldn't understand the sentence. I don't like when an animal is a creature feel like when animals have a creature feel the creature yeah and i think that's probably why i don't like to this day i don't like um calyrex riding a horse pokemon it adds what the word you were trying to i think i think what you were trying to go for justin was hierarchy animal hierarchy feels a little strange to you i think it's it's possible i think it could work however i understand what you're saying i i don't plan on doing something like that Uh, yeah, exactly. If it's like a symbiotic relationship, that might be a little more uh, palpable for Justin. Um, I would say, yeah, same thing. Like, there's something a little off-putting about it sometimes. Um, also, if the goat hooves don't work, I could just see myself going back to um, pause. I don't know truly what the art style is going to look like, gang. Like, I genuinely don't know. It might be, you know, obviously, like, more Pokemon-inspired. I will, above all, focus on getting it to be Bonnie John style, right? How I draw, which is how I've been pushing a lot of my, um, my fake Mon as of late, right? I don't do it in the Sugimori style these days. And, and now I kind of see, like, it was probably because I was, like, preparing to, you know, make my Monster Tamer. Like, it feels like, it's really cool. It just feels like everything was, you know, leading to this, right? Oh, shit, this guy's looking sick. Uh, you say I'm taking instead of talking? I'm taking instead of talking. I don't know really that either. Um, pet pet from Neopets. Imagine hooves with claws. I feel like they'd be cursed. Hello, Oni boy. Hooves with claws. Unless I did, for example, it could also just be hooves with the texture. Like, excuse me, paws with the texture of like hooves. Which equally feel cursed. You know? But actually, this feels like a really cool and unique chimera. I think the face looks a little too goat for my taste. So I'm trying to find some tiger stuff that I could do. Um, but I think, yeah, this is like really 
going to be an, a stunning boost evo you know like i think people are going to want this guy on his on their team right this potempo is feeling like a regal king yeah i mean i think that's the idea of you know this animal you know like the lion is the king of the beast um Oh, you know what? That kind of feels like Go Goat, actually. Again, I will figure out like the optimal. You know, there's a lot of negative space here, so I think I can, I can do something like this, maybe for a horn, and let it take up this space. That way, the main kind of exists. I love the Billy Goat element right here. I think that's coming out so sick. Like it, it adds to the main. It adds to the silhouette. Oh, you know what? The the horn at the top kind of looks like Maridon or Karidon, so I might have to figure that out too. That's a bit too much goat, not enough lion. I see that. But again, I don't mind if it's too much or too little. Since I am representing the goat quite a bit in the previous form, obviously, I will lean more lion. But like I said, Look forward to designs again like the Manticore, where the Manticore will, you know, have like a lion or a tiger or some sort of, you know. Um, oh, I guess in that case, I could. The rest of the body could be a lion color. I think that's what's throwing this off. Let me do a golden mane like this. And then I got to make the face look a little more like and that the bottom half will be kind of like a snake scaly kind of thing. As the lion, it should feel... Um, I'm sure about taking and talking from the sense you were reading earlier. Oh my goodness. What class are they? I'm thinking it's going to be uh, a fabled... It could be... It could be gothic because maybe it was created by dark means if I go that route. I don't think so because as you can see, I'm, I'm not making it look like an abomination that it was like fused. It's it's looking like it was it's intentionally become the creature it's meant to be. So it could really be cryptic. I think cryptic, like a wilted cryptic type, you know? Or domained, I should say. The horns could be snakes. That is true. I could make them snakes, but the thing is in my direction, it's not going to be like it's um what's the word? Like they're not separate parts they're like conjoined to be like consistent you know what i mean like i don't think this design feels like it's that perfect blend you know like if they achieved perfect un unity you know um okay so now how do i make the lion's face look like a lion's face Probably teeth. More canine like, not canine, but. This is Gogo's cousin. If you worked at CA, got genetic enhancements. Uh, Chimera Potemple's looking badass. Thank you. Put on my team. Will there be variants? Uh, in what way exactly? I'd say Gothic and Lithic. Lithic. It's not Lithic in that it's not overtly made from nature. Like, Lithic I'm reserving for my rocks and my steel types. Um, so, Lithic is not here. 
gothic potentially it could even be typic as weird as that sounds um it could straight up just be an animal in the world right um it doesn't have to be the definition of what we consider like to us it's a cryptid right but that's going to be the vibe that you know i design i want to maybe give it teeth like really Ooh, I kind of like this fusion of a lion's face with a, you know? Oh shit, this guy looks so fucking sick. And the Billy Gro Goat kind of gruff. Yeah, this to me is like exactly what I want to do. You see the parts of the goat, you see the parts of the lion, you see the parts, you know, of the snake. Maybe not as much, and maybe I could fit more down the line. You know, like for example, like this could be more, the, the snake patterning. Maybe the snake body, like it kind of like leans into more of a snake body in the back. Um, but you know, it's going to have a rattle, so there's that. Um, maybe the rattle actually could be up in the front, you know? And maybe it like hangs and like this creature is not afraid like it shakes to like scare its enemy right like not so much like oh don't scare like sure i mean yes a rattlesnake scares their enemy but they, they don't want to brawl they use it as a warning maybe it's kind of saying like i'm coming you need to run like it's kind of like you know owning that that looks pretty dang sick to me gang uh you see how i got what i was looking for which was a a lion that feels like a goat you know i don't mind if the snake takes a little bit of a back seat i want to see if maybe i could do horns like this maybe because the other one did feel very yeah i, I kind of like this better the other one felt very go goat coated you know It's cool is it doesn't really look like a Pokemon either. It does feel like its own thing. Uh, looks more cryptic and gothic to me, to be honest. Um, again, if it was created in a negative way, but there's, there's nothing about it that seems, again, if I break it down, right? Gothic to me mostly would read say psychic, dark. I want to say dark, like not like in the you know Pokemon kind of way. Like gothic is mostly I would say like psychic and ghost. Dark, I guess, in some capacity is evil, right? I don't think this guy's evil. He could be if I wrote the story to be that. Looks like a boss character. Holy crap! Yeah, he, maybe the big bad guy has this guy, and then maybe I could push him obviously in the dark route. You know, uh, I like the flavor for tipping. Maybe it was a separate creatures in one's body instead of a unified creature. It could be gothic. Yeah, everything flows unanimous. Thus, in order, exactly why I think it's lithic. Thank you, Dingus. Yeah, uh, Asan, get out of here. We got a new creature to fill your role. Asan was based on Jesus. This guy looks like the opposite of Jesus. I like the rattle of the horns. It kind of looks like jewelry hanging. Yeah, it could be something like that for sure. Uh, maybe you have to be level 70 in order to encounter this guy. I have no idea what levels anything's going to be. 
banger hell yeah having rattlers on line time cue just makes me think of bells putting on cats very cute um okay let's do i think let's leave it at this he's not the goat he yeah exactly exactly dr crowbar um all right my hand is feeling a little cramped because i've drawn for like some time now an hour and a half maybe so this is what i want to do i could work on these other guys over time like i'm not too worried about how they in fact maybe in the future what i do is i work backwards because the sum of all of its part again as like the focused i should start with the final form and work backwards um there could be a second style chimera that maybe is a wilted version right take care alex um there could be a yeah there could be a second type where that is like trying to recreate this one you know um but um i do want to work on it's two hours in huh um let me see yeah i think i do want to work on a, a second pass for the god potempo because i have i have a lot of sick ideas that i want to start incorporating into it so i think that's what i'll do for it's 9 14 now i came a little late let's say i try to close at 9 30 9 35 or at the very least whenever i finish the attempt because when i look at my current potempo god design it just feels like there's a lot of room for making things understandable and visible so i got again i'll i'll illustrate what i want to do with this design as i take a little break and, and stretch we'll just chat tell me your thoughts about the chimera guy tell me your thoughts about potempo god um perhaps this one guy is normal form and you can make a wilted design which typical fighting for control it could yeah exactly maybe wilted could be and you know maybe in a way like it's i don't say it's lazy but it might be nice for me to be able to like make echo fighters right or clones like in yokai watch for example like they're like part of their decks is like a color swap so me doing a more impactful wilted swap type of thing or maybe even fabled could just be fabled versions of particular characters right it's certainly a direction i think that i can do you know I love this legendary god Potempo's design so much. Trust me when I say what I have in mind. Um, you know your designs also give me a final. I love Final Fantasy. That is such an amazing compliment. Thank you so much. I love Final Fantasy. It's one of my like top ten franchises. Um, so as of right now, things are fantastical. But like, I do want to explore a lot of levels to it. Um but okay and you know i guess that's fitting because when i do get around to making more and more mythic level deities and stuff it's going to feel like you're summoning beasts from final fantasy or anima right like it's not like you can catch my legendaries you befriend them and then they give you their power um okay so I like I said, I am going to do a second pass. I think there's going to be a lot um when it comes to evolving um these potential designs. Um and that includes making it ethereal. I was even thinking a version where I give this guy like a turtle shell. Like I want to see basically chat i don't think i've pushed the envelope for the god so remember i was talking about the breaching thing right um 
I found some really interesting images that I think is really cool, really beautiful, really creepy. And I know this is going to sound or look weird, but as always, I just ask you to let me cook. Something that whales do when they sleep is stand upwards like this. And I think when I look at that visually, there's something so sick about this. We want to see you explore. Thank you, Gabby. That means a lot to hear. Um, what that means to me when I am looking at um, basically, I'm looking for more reference here. It's, as you know, like I've put a lot of whale emphasis, but there's something so eerie and beautiful about this. And I like the visual of like an obelisk, right? Something that just stands upwards and command, like imagine a sleeping, floating dragon, whale, seraphim halo like it's insane imagine looking at that in the sky it's not doing anything it looks weirdly imposing and it doesn't need to be in like this great crazy pose and so i kind of want to go towards that um that to me there's something really cool and beautiful about it again i think the word is ethereal so i'm going to do a concept building like that where this space whale is like in this eternal state of hibernation slash you know and i can like illustrate like really cool stuff like the mouth going all the way down you know um and how like spiraling into itself or coiled um i think something like that could look so cool you guys kind of see what i'm trying to cook it just looks so eerie um Something Lovecrafty, uh, no, not that it's in the sea, not it, like it's Lovecraftian in the sense that, um, it's not anything that we can really make sense of, you know. Um, I can still have like the antler stuff hold up, like the orb. That I think is really beautiful in its design. Um, I'm touching up the legendary, the god of the world. I mean, legendary doesn't even cut it. I think it's like, and I want to see if I can get the sleeping whale vibes. Because I think that's just so cool. I want to see if I can just continue to push angles to this design that make it feel ethereal, right? Um, even something with the barnacles or maybe with like wing wing paddles you know should we wait for the world to be finished no i like i like to work on things concurrently like there's no 
there's no rules about that, right? Like, I wanted this to be one of the first Potempo I designed because if I know what insanity looks like, then I know what the norm looks like, right? And vice versa. This design probably will get touched up a million times. Um, the, the designs for all my creatures will probably be touched up a million times. Um, at, like, these kind of explorations, you don't wait for one thing or another, right? You've got to keep whittling away at it and building it um, to a place where, you know, ultimately um, it feels right. So I don't think there's going to be a time where, you know, I would need to design something um, where... Is it the right time because I think I know what the look feel is? You know, like, I don't get why, but I looked at this. First thing that popped in my head was Chandelier by Sia. I don't really get it. Sorry. I don't get it. I'm sorry, you guys. I've, I've not been on my A game. I didn't understand earlier. Um... I know this song, Chandelier. All right. Okay, let me. What does an Arceus sleep for a thousand years at a time? What does that mean? What does an Arceus sleep for a thousand years at a time? I mean, doesn't Arceus? What doesn't. What doesn't an Arceus sleep for a thousand years at a time? That one's not on me. Right? Am I crazy? I don't know if the standing thing will work. I got an idea. Hold on, gang. I think I know what to do. As much as I want it to be like a standing design, it could still be a design that still has a lot of flow. Maybe it rotates in onto itself, maybe. Honestly, the standing feels like about to do something more. Honestly, the standing feels like it's about to do something more than just standing there. Um. Okay, I'm going to... I'll keep that on the side just to help me kind of keep the imagery of like an obelisk.
So if I show like this undulating kind of wave where the mouth opens, in fact, I could open the mouth even. Uh, maybe what you're drawing now could be an animation. Maybe, but uh, I'm going to be changing meaningful parts of its design. So, um, yeah, I don't love the first one. So it's definitely getting tweaked. Um, a Nautilus shell could look really cool too. That could be a nice way to kind of wrap up the bottom half of the design. And there is something cool about... like almost like it's emerging out of something you know <laughs> the hands out like that that looks kind of funny i was certain pretend yes it was april 5th was my birthday i did get to celebrate with some friends um I guess I kind of mostly had a birthday weekend. Got a little crazy. All right, you know what? So I don't think we're going to have it stand. I think, I don't know if I can make that work. Let me rotate it back. Ooh, this looks kind of cool. And if anything, you know what I'll do? I'll also... Keep this on the side. That way, we reference it. T posing to assert dominance. That's the only way to do it, you know? All right, let's do. I want to see if I can pull this off. happy late birthday thank you thank you i appreciate it i did have a blast i got to watch monkey man with some friends i had bds tacos for the first time which was really really tasty um you know what i kind of want like the barnacles like if i were to do barnacles it would kind of at least look like it you know um we'll have these as like again wings like it's like this ship or something but those are its fins naturally right um it could be really cool to give it some sort of maybe like narwhal horn maybe that feels like a nice thing to put there. The Dominace. Kind of like the Narwhal Horn, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I kind of want to give it elephant tusks as well. I don't know if that's a lot, but again, I'm trying to just... I want to see if how to make it look insane. I, you know what? I kind of want to see if I can give it like a second pair of arms underneath. Man, it kind of feels like a Digimon, actually. For better or for worse. When I not a shell, I immediately thought of Amina and Amistar. Yeah, I think I'll create regular creatures for those. 
But I wanted to see if I could make it work. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, it really does feel like a Digimon, doesn't it? What do you guys think so far? Right track? You know what? I kind of also want to see if maybe I can give it like... Maybe like a manta ray feel somewhere? Hmm... Maybe it's singing it's incomprehensible add harmful to those who don't worship this deity but those who can't hear it sounds like something the heart would enjoy most pretty cool i think it's absolutely you know singing songs and it could be very similar to hinduism where like the the kind of reverberation of the word om why it's so powerful apparently you know i believe in the culture it means it's like the first sound to be uttered and it's like the life force of the world type of thing Looks awesome so far. Speaking of Digimon, what's your favorite one? I think it's called Beale Starmon. Uh, I like Beale Starmon. I like. Thanks, Draco. Appreciate it. Um, I like. Who else? I do like. Um, I like Vmon a lot. Um, his favorite is Beale Starmon. It's true. I don't know what the hell this thing is supposed to be, this orb thing, but it's pretty cool. I've got to give it like an in lore kind of explanation. Maybe that's where all the spirit comes from. Uh, yeah, you're more than ready for it. Yep, like my right hand man for that one. I'll take a help. Um, yeah, I think this feels a lot better. Um, it's it feels you see how, in a subtle way, it just feels stronger as a design, in my opinion. Um, What would your partner be if you were in the world of Digimon? What about Beastmon? What is Beastmon exactly? Honestly, if it were my... I do like... I'd want to choose... Um, I'd want to choose a partner that we haven't seen in the show yet. Meaning, like, that hasn't been a formal partner. Like, I'd feel guilty about Vmon, because I love Vmon, but I feel like Vmon, like, very much is a Davis thing. So I'd want something that's like unique to me, you know? I'm not saying I need my own original one, although that would be a fun task to figure out. Um, but uh, otherwise, um, I guess, So like Terrier Mon. There's some great rookies, yeah. I don't know, gang. Rookies mean the first form. Give me some cool ones. Maybe not to look up now since I'm working on this stuff. Um Okay, I'm gonna start putting color down on this and just see how um how this works. How this lands, I should say, not work. I'm trying to make it land.
I want to see if I can add more. Hmm. Adding hair or something would feel weird. Um. Oh, this, this is going to look cool. Gundramon for my partner? I think that's Gun Dragon. I'm just glad this is still Royal Serpentine Dragon, so badass. Thank you, thank you. Um, and part of me wants to give him like dragon legs like back here. I'm honestly mine. Been having commission arts that me make my childhood partner. That is so sick. Nice. Let's hear it if you don't mind sharing. I don't know how to like devise a Digimon. I guess I could curate it from head to toe. Ooh, I got a cool idea, gang. Numamon? Even I know that's the snail one. Leomon is my partner. Leomon's not a rookie, right? Guys, I think I got a really cool idea. Because it could look like barnacles and then also eyes. And it could just be a series. Oh my god, this could look insane. And the tusk could also be like the barnacle thing. That's just definitely my Hinduism connection, adding the tusks. But it might be OD, honestly. Rust to run him on a shine gray man. Lion, lion shirtless. Why is he shirtless? Cloud Strife. I've seen him. He does look cool. I remember his arc in the uh, in the show. What if I made his like belly like instead of the whale signs it's got like these barnacles and it kind of looks like notes. I love Cupertary Mind. He's so sick. I think I like that. The thing with the notes. I want to give him a mustache. Mustache feels right but also no. Man, like Lion Mane would be really cool. Oh, you know what? Let me make the mouth much more massive like that, I feel like. So it looks like it's it's really holding so many galaxies and stuff. Back from shopping, welcome back. Was it, that was my partner Greemon. Don't know what Green means, and design is vaguely mammalian. New version Slothmon. These are different forms of energy. Interesting. I mean, are there like cohesive lines? I'm sure there are. Um, yeah, like I think Ikakumon's like this aquatic kind of set, right? Same, yeah, wait. So it's like, it's not like it's completely random, you know, some stuff. Leomon does have pants. All right, at least he's got pants. You know what? I do want him to have like a massive dorsal fin. Sodma was just hyper person energy, built to megatherium involving fossil fuels and to steampunk, and then it's a robot. Holy crap. Yeah, that is true. You could have a lot of fun with uh, designing stuff like that, huh? I think I'm coming on to like a design that I really, 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 really love. Something like an obelisk or something would be so sick. Oh, I think I know what I can do. 
Hold on. Ooh, I drew on that layer? Okay, no big deal. Though giving them the- yeah, that is an interesting thing. I mean, I guess, yeah, look, technically characters like Beelstarmon is wearing clothes. Victory? I've never even heard of Victory Greymon. There's a lot of Digimon I still don't know about, huh? Let me put his arms out kind of like... Let me make it, instead of like... Almost like... Bird talons or something? They're like really long? No. Man, part of me really does want to give him arms, you guys. Like, seriously. I don't know why. Oh, you know what? Maybe he could have, like, large fins above the arms. And I want him to have six, like a Hindu deity gang. I don't know how, why. I just think it looks sick. Feels like an alien, which is, I mean, pretty cool. Guys, I watched WrestleMania over the weekend. I've never been into that kind of stuff. But I watched it, and it was just mad fun. Mm. Peldramon? Peldramon sounds cool. I feel like I know what that is. Blitz, Blitz Greymon? Victory Greymon? Sword instead of a shield fire. My favorite Digimon is Pale Germon, relatively new Pulsemon. This is a potential version of Great Reed from High School DD. What is Great Reed? Victory Greymon gets Cloud Chef style giant sword, hell yeah. I like Omnimon. I love Omnimon. I think Omnimon is just so dang cool. Um, it's kind of a basic answer, but I was a little kid when he came out. So that's what I saw, you know? All right, this looks pretty good to me. I should probably start putting like colors, right? Colors and stuff and stuff. Um, let me look up, are there any crocodile? There's gotta be, there's gotta be. Um. I'm trying to find some cool references for like writhing mo movement, you know? Um, again, if I can get it more and more alien looking, I think that would be so dope. Um, to me, like that's the goal where it's like vaguely, you know, looks like stuff we know. But it yet still feels like its own thing. You know? Um, making aspects of it like really alien and then certain aspects grounded of what we know. Um, that's kind of, I think, my play. Um...
I just saw a picture of Suicune and like Suicune's hair on this thing would look so sick. But I don't want to do the most, gang. Um... I'm getting very close to, you know, like a design that I love, don't get me wrong, you know? So I've got that going for me. I want to do something like the manta ray is such an interesting creature, you know, and I, I feel like there's something in a manta ray's design that I think could add something really cool to, to this design, you know? All right, let me look up. Um, Decker, Dramon, and Leviamon are cool. Leviamon's definitely crowd. Mother used to be big on WWE, and then he fell out of it. Yeah, I mean, I never got into it um, because it like always looked silly to me, and it still kind of feels silly to me. But my friends, they taught me about all the storylines and all this kind of fun stuff, and like. You know, for the weekend, it was just really a fun kind of thing that naturally, uh, I think with the crowd that I was with, just became something I got to enjoy, you know, because I like pulled myself out of like trying to act like I was too cool for it, you know, like, oh, it's fake. What's when, you know, it's scripted. It's like, yeah, okay. Like just have fun with what it was. And, and it, it was definitely a fun time. Um... Uh, Beelzebub wears a biker. He's packing heat. I've seen that guy. He looks so sick. Um, mechanical. Bing, 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 bing. Red, red is a dragon. He was powerful, but pretty much just wanted the nothingness for it. One badass potem, but definitely deserving the title of creator. Hell yeah. Uh, I, I saw High School of the Dead a long time ago, like the first three, four episodes. And it literally... And I'm not like, you know, trashing if you're into it, but like it kind of pulled me out of being into anime. Like I, you know, maybe equated all of anime to be like that, which is, I mean, I knew better, but I was just like, I'm kind of out of it. I'm not really feeling anime at the moment. Um, and it was probably because of that show. Um, now, if I watched it, I'd enjoy it for what it is, but it's obviously clearly fan service kind of stuff, you know? Um, it could be cool if I did a design where maybe I took the orb thing and brought it more like right here like it's protecting it that could be another thing too And then he could have his hands to protect. You know, something like that. Although I do like, don't get me wrong, I really do like the look of like the crown thingy. But
Holy crap, this could look insane where each of the hands are kind of like guarding this orb in the middle, you know? Hello, Trash, welcome in. Oh, high school D cross D's not? Oh, okay, okay, my bad. Man, this guy's throwing through the skies with that entire crew on it. Get that vibe? Yeah. Decker Germon, it was Fire Digimon? Cool. You know what? I won't put the arms there. What do you guys think? Should I put the orb thingy down there? It might not be the play. You know what? Let me do a more curled body. And I'll do. I'll keep the orb as its crown. I like this kind of vertical thing that's happening here. I do like this kind of like almost twister like kind of thing, but I mean, still not something I love, but let's. Let me just push through. Let's go D&D is about the guy who just asked on his first day and becomes a devil by the prettiest girl who's the... What the hell? That sounds insane. Oh, if I do this, then I could have the mouth go all the way down. All right? Okay, I'm going to try and do... I want to do the manta ray wings, maybe, you know? And then maybe there's like a secondary tail it has or something? Nah, it's looking a little crazy. Um, let's see, let's see. Oh, wait, what if maybe, maybe it's like a manta ray shape and it's got like the connection of the beluga whale, not beluga, like the blue whale. And then maybe like, it's got like these trailing kind of things coming. Hold on, I kind of like this. Because I like the manta ray, like cloak, wings type of thing, and then it could still have multiple wings, you know? Okay, so then I'll do... Just be a little thicker there. And a manta ray tail? I was thinking that. Um, but like the manta ray tail is specifically kind of like a weapon, you know? Um, which I don't hate, but uh, it could make it look really elegant. But I kind of like if I kept elements of the whale. I'm not entirely against it, but let me, yeah, let me try it like that. It could still have... Well, you know what? Maybe I should have it flapping it upwards or something. This looks crazy, right? It's more, it looks like a big plane, yeah. 
more like a serrated spear playing Pokemon. Let me keep cooking. Let me keep cooking. I don't know if I'll keep the Manta Ray wings, but. I'm about the tail in my last camera. Hey, see enemy one thirty. Imagine your your potempo just destroys the enemy team, and then you get to summon the god. That's unfair. I'm gonna give it a second set of arms, like down this way. I want like a second set of fins on each of the hind legs. Oh my god, this is looking crazy. <laughs> what am I doing? It's still coming out sick in my opinion. But there's a lot happening, which is fine because I whittled down what works and what doesn't. And I don't think the manta ray wings are working. I'm also getting palky vibes when I do when I did that. So, yeah. What's going on, Brian? Welcome in. Can we get Bonnie a bacon, egg, and cheese? The Oki way? You mean the Yaki way? Can't forget the Vev. What's up, Brian? What's going on? Tr that train Digimon from Digimon Frontiers. Do you guys know what that one is? The back half is really kicking my ass, you guys. I feel happy with the Chimera, but then... Maybe let's do... He's got the wings here. Or does the arms have to be maybe a little smaller? Like he's like lifting up his power or something, you know? This is crazy. This is what uh, what I imagine snakes look like before they lost their legs. Uh, what if you break the body into sections have manta wings and separate segments? That's true. It doesn't have to be at the top. Um, it did, definitely doesn't have to be at the top. Or, you know what? Loving this design, me too. I'm trying to make something work. It's right around the corner, you guys. Maybe the Manta Wings could kind of come underneath the arms here. Like, almost like a Wyvern kind of wing. Mm 
you know, and give it six wings because why not? I do want to give it like numbers of six for sure. Um, It have six arms. You know what? Take that away. I'm gonna get rid of the horn. I don't think we need the horn. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. I think also I'm gonna have to just start putting colors down again, and that'll really help. And I, I know what, I'm going to extend the mouth out more because that will illustrate the capacity it has, the strength it has in its form. Okay, this is, this is coming out sick. Um, I got it. I want to do, damn, how do I make this Manta? I'm telling you guys, I'm right around the corner to making this Manta Ray thing work. Hmm. Or maybe it's like a like a sailfish kind of thing. I don't want it to look evil, but Okay, the face kind of looks over designed. Don't worry, it's still a sketch. Um, okay, I'm gonna start putting colors down. It's almost three hours into the design, so um, let me go ahead and Um, and then we'll, yeah, definitely call it soon. I got an idea of how I want to do the face. So let me get this set and we're, we're going to call, we're going to call the stream done soon. All right. So I'm going to do the white underbody again. I think it'd be really cool. Hello, Rockero. Welcome in. Um, I think what I want to do again is you have the the whales they have those like lines down its mouth or throat or whatever you call it and I kind of want to put like barnacle bits on it as if like it's musical notes a la like Ocarina of Time you know with the C the C buttons to sing the songs so let me do that imagine this guy screaming at the top of lungs on somebody's roof Yeah, maybe the manta ray won't work. All right, I really like this as a second pass though, because the first one is a little tough to read visually, you know? So that'll be my goal, like to try and make this version of the design readable. So we'll have the body come this way. And 
Okay. Looks good. We got one arm here. Another here. Okay, let's see. Now we get the gold. This is what I was thinking. Maybe for the head, like the barnacles are all covering the front half. Now we lose the contrast of the potential antler kind of thingy. So there's that. Um, so again, I got to exactly figure out the lore. What the hell this orb is? I have an idea. Like to me, it's going to be something potentially like the spirit of all creatures is borrowed from this light including the spirit to go beyond um which is what um potempo they used to um they use it do their max boost kind of evolution okay this feels a little again more easily readable than the previous design now i'm going to go through and yeah let me add this gold trail it'll follow the entire top half it could be you know what like the armored up on the arm. Origin of the Soul is connected to the... What is the Origin of the Soul is connecting to the bonds of all? I mean, I think it's pretty straightforward. I would say that it's more like... It doesn't even need to be explained, right? Like, it's like... um, It's all life you know started from this entity you know um and so to me it's like a matter of just having a source where the evolution energy comes from right like it's not a specific potempo like smaller legendary like you no know, the god of all creations has made it possible you know um Okay, this feels pretty dang good. I'm gonna merge these. I'm gonna do a flip. Do a flip! The jaw is a little crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, let me do this. Maybe the orbit, somebody touches it, explodes? No, 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 it's nothing that serious. Again, like this, this creature won't be involved in the story. Like, it doesn't need to be. Like, it's um, purely for like the lore. You know, I'm doing it purely for the lore. I want to kind of like immediately establish there is an Arceus like figure, but like it is way beyond the notion of having to interfere. And, you know, I would have their children, right? The first gods like while it's true that all potempo you know technically come from him it's his potential that um bert's like the first um the first like i guess physical potempo or whatever you want to say like it could be um Oh, so this is what I want to do for the eyes. So instead of like traditional eyes, right? It's like all these barnacles and they're, you know, they just got the black inner kind of bits. So they kind of look like eyes, but they're not. And I think that's a really cool idea. If it's too much, it's too much, but I think that's gonna be a pretty cool concept. I was like thinking like does he need eyes no he definitely doesn't but I think implying it could be really cool give it six manta ray wings because the angelic power is fun if anything I could see it 
having straight up like seraphim style wings just to show that it's like born from or everything is born from this creature right so i don't want to touch grass this is during the story What do you guys think of the barnacle ideas for the eyes? I'll make them all varying sizes and stuff. That does look kind of scary, which is cool. Um. Oh crap. Yeah, you know what? I guess I kind of am feeling it in my hands. Guys, sorry to end it up abruptly, but it is three hours in exactly. Uh, we've got a lot done on today's stream. We worked on the Chimera. I'm getting a little closer on this guy's design. I fear I may have stretched out the mouth too much. But again, I'm trying to sell like all the cosmos that lives inside this entity. Um but yeah, I think this is a good place to call it. Um, there is still so much exploration, I suspect, that, uh, you know, he will just keep getting upgrades and updates and, you know, parts that I like and that I, you know, um, I'm sure... the final form will probably end up looking something that um ooh wait a second i kind of like this crown thingy i like the way this part slides back you know and that this kind of becomes this kind of tray kind of thing that holds i wonder if maybe hmm. yeah the spirit is still very much there which is cool um i like the first version i love this version i'll say it again this is a god epic badass serpent whale dragon remember i said you lock off i know right and that's why I'm kind of feeling my hand over here. But guys, I will be on tomorrow. Um, I'm going to slowly just try and find the best form of this design. That's all it is. This is like a raid battle. Let me count to this. Let me count. Um, no counting. I don't want to do anything with numbers. But uh, yeah, I will. I will get this design, damn it, to where it needs to be. No matter what it takes, um, it will happen, and it's going to be awesome. Um, there's the tusk I was talking about. I kind of like the way the tusk mimics the movement of the back here. I think that's really cool. Maybe here I can just have like... Again, that black hole kind of look. Whatever the symbol might be, I think it's going to be something like that. Um, yeah, this looks sick. How mean encounter? What does that mean? How mean encounter? Oh, maybe this is like a raid battle when we encounter to this no 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 i've already mentioned it i've already mentioned it mythics you're not going to encounter this guy you'll you'll encounter other mythics um but this is not a character you guys are going to be fighting or anything like that this is the god of all potempo he doesn't have time for what's going on he he exists to keep the world moving everything else is very minuscule to him you know um the thigh on its head looks like a planet the thigh so this yeah this is the spirit the spirits and i guess i like that it kind of looks like a planet um 
What do you guys think about the barnacle thing? I, I kind of like it. It's really creepy and weird. I might clean up the face to be more elegant. You know what? Let me do... Yeah, let me do that. And I'll have more barnacle places, I think, where the arms will come out and whatnot. But cool. All right, gang. I think this is where I'm going to end it for now. Uh, I may still work on these guys, you know, in the future. But I will, of course, work on regular creatures. We'll see about these bigger folk. Maybe I'll do a stream for the legendaries, the other legendaries, right? Something like this looks so sick. Got kind of ironic that the God of Pokemon that looks like something you would see in your worst nightmares. It's because we can't comprehend it. You know what I mean? I feel like you need to make some bigger and smaller, make like in a symmetrical way. I feel like you make some bigger and some smaller. Yeah, for sure. I will find the right balance. Um, it's gonna take time. Um, but cool. I'll put the wings kind of like white. Yeah, this looks just so much better than this version. It really gets too lost. I had it in a sea of clouds and I wanted it to be breaching, but I think it just needs to be its own kind of creature. But all right, gang, I'm going to call it here. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. I will see you tomorrow. Um, just remind me, I definitely have to do like two hour streams or something because I definitely feel it in my hands. So I'll be resting up for the rest of the evening. Have a wonderful night, you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. I appreciate